Welcome back Dirty Garage Mods. Uh, this here is not a tutorial video. This is actually just an extended part of the uh, crap I'm having to deal with right now. So I just thought might as well use my gimbal and record a little bit of it. So hang tight and you can watch us and just be an extra. So, continue on with the little vlog I'm doing here, using the stabilizer. Uh, this here has been a giant pain in the ass. Yeah. Wait a way. So, finally got this side apart. I left the ball joints on the uh, the uh, hub can't remember what it's called but the thing that holds a hub on I left it on there so not a big deal I'm gonna have to take them and have them pressed out and then this one here is uh, the other one so yeah they're both they're all gonna have to be pressed out because I, I looked at other videos I was curious about how people ooh, excuse me how people uh, actually uh, do their these and like people cut the, and edit because you know that they had a hard time and then they came back in and made it sound so easy but uh yeah I I just don't get it so and for all you wondering this is the new dirty garage mods this is where it's at it's just a shed so nothing fancy yeah, I uh, this truck is this truck's a pain in the ass. I don't know. I went ahead and got the uh, tie rod on. I can't zoom with this camera, so it's just like a little GoPro basically. So but yeah, I got the upper and lower ball joints in, and got the tie rod in, and. This may become a day three project tomorrow because I am wore out. So, but we'll see. But yeah, I'll go ahead and cut this for now and I'll, I'll come back here in a little bit with it. All right, so here we are. We're back again. Uh, if you look right down, there, there's my new hub. And then right next to it is a set of new rotors. Because when I took it to have the hubs pressed out because they were rusted in because they were probably original, they uh, the guy that pressed them out for me uh, broke the rotors, which is fine. I needed new rotors anyhow. They were pretty thin. I was trying to cut some corners and save money, but in the long run, it's going to save my life. So that's what I did. So, but. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, let's see here, so, oop, too far, so that, there's the, uh, uh, the, uh, hub assembly, the housing, that's what it's called, so, I got all that apart, and then, let's see here, So, got all that apart. And this side will be going back to, together tomorrow. I just started working on the driver's side, trying to get it back together again. Because it's been a pain in the butt. It's been an absolute pain in the butt today. But, anyways, yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this type of content. But I'm going to go ahead and cut the, this episode here. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Like that. Alright, so here's uh, day number three. I'm getting off to a late start. 
I slept heavy last night. So. I do apologize uh, also if in this, uh, this, I'm new to actually using this gimbal. I've had it for a few years. I just never used it. Um, <clears throat> so, but I think it should balance out fine. Kind of helping my shaking problem. So, I know that's uh, something people mention in comments about can't hold the camera still because you're shaking. So, I'm going to use it to do this and then we'll see how it goes. So, uh, yeah. I've gotten pretty close on it. Get this together here. This hub and all that crap together, and then, uh, then I'll start doing the actual video for the other side and getting it back together. So, anyways, yeah. Uh, so uh, that'll be it for now. All right. So here we are again. We are back to it, and. Uh, show you the driver's side let's see here so there it is I got the rotor on caliper on new brake pads guide pins or guides rather uh, hub assembly ABS cable everything ball joints are back in so looks pretty good so now I'm gonna be over here on the other side get you back up here where you belong uh, so I'm now getting set up on this side to uh, put this side back together so that's what I'm doing right now and uh, of course I got the camera set up here so uh, I'll be recording this just short short little clips I'll be doing here and there so all right so this is my camera been funny or my gimbal so anyways I showed you guys this side and uh, got that done I'm gonna walk around here to the other side and you'll see different camera now because I'm getting ready to do the brake job part of it uh, but I gotta do the ABS cable still yet, but that ain't no big deal. We'll go ahead and get that done real fast off camera, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, caliper and all that stuff back together. So, but yeah, so uh, just want to give you guys an update. All right, so she is back together again. Uh, surprisingly, now I don't have the wheels on, obviously. But surprisingly, the alignment isn't too bad, from what I can tell. It's not, I don't think it's off too bad, so that's a plus. Uh, we'll be taking it for a test drive here in just a little bit. I'll bring you all along for that, so that'll be interesting. All right, so. There it is. Got it all back together, finally wheel looks like it's a little bit cambered we'll know here soon when I take for a drive so I got it warming up oh. yeah, it's all back together well it's been a hell of a project but yeah we'll uh, we'll take for a drive here in a minute and see how she does all right so here we are we are on the test drive finally so any noise that you may hear, I don't know if you all hear it or not. I don't know how good the microphone is on this, but you might hear back end noise probably, maybe. So I can hear the wheel, rear wheel bearings, but it seems to, it feels like I got the alignment dead on. And How's the brakes? Brakes are really good. Other, other than that noise, I, that could be a few other things too. I don't know. We're not going to go very far here. We're going to use someone's driveway here and do a U turn.
so much better though. Dries way better, it's straighter. And yeah, I think that'll be pretty good. Let's see if I can get you turn around here. So uh excuse the way I look, I'm a little dirty, but anyways. If you guys like this type of content, would like to see more of it, more like a vlogging, like for a third, I, I call it a third person style video. It's vlogging, whatever you want to call it. But anyways, uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, then go ahead and comment below, let me know. It's something I don't usually do, but I'm going to give it a shot anyways. Gives me a chance to use this gimbal. I, never get to use it so as most of my videos is just you know point and shoot and that's it you know I don't get to do where I'm moving around so but yeah anyways yeah if you like this content uh, like subscribe comment share all that good stuff and uh, check out the videos of the actual work itself um, I'll uh, have them up in a couple weeks. This video will be up a lot quicker than those. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you again. And also thank you to 1,082 subscribers.